guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. Before I get started on my first trash talk of 2023, I wanted to say I hope you all had an incredible holiday season, a great time with your friends, family, whoever you chose to spend it with, and you had a great new year. I had a great new year, and this is my first trash talk of 2023. If you're not familiar with my trash talk videos, it is where I take all of my empties, whether it be wax or candles, and I share them with you guys. Now this year, I am going to be incorporating um, a lot of my skincare and body care as well. I just haven't used anything up yet this month. So this is going to be more like end of Christmas week and throughout today is January 2nd. So it is a new year, but I wanna clear all of this out. So the first full week of January, I can have some fresh wax and some fresh candles for you guys. Now, my goal going into 2023, I see a lot of people posting about their goals and things for the new year. For me, it is to go on the lowest of low buys of vendor wax. I think I've talked a lot, a lot of vendors are closing and the performance of vendor wax is just so hit or miss for me. And I have so much, like I was looking through my bins and I have a lot of stuff that was in 2021. So it's now going on its second year in my collection. And that's when fragrance really does start to lose a lot of power. Again, every vendor is different. From my experience, you don't want to hold on to vendor wax for too long. And just with the bags and the cutting and the stuff, it is so much easier to do a clamshell. And even I've noticed during like this round of empties, the vendor wax and Scentsy, Scentsy just outperforms vendor wax so many times for me. And I still will be ordering from a few of my favorite vendors here and there, some like scents I can't live without. But for the most part, this year, I'm going to focus on using up my collection and focusing more on Scentsy and my candles because I have so many candles here that I want to burn through and I love pairing a candle with my wax and it just feels really good and I said it before to fill up a basket of wax, use it up and not have like five boxes of wax coming to you. The only thing that I have wax wise coming to me is the Planahanna collab with fantasy wax and then I am done I have no outstanding wax orders that I know of no I don't have any outstanding wax orders I'm going to place a Scentsy bring back my bar order but again that's because I'm a Scentsy consultant and I have been really enjoying my Scentsy lately and editing my Scentsy club and all of those things but without further ado let's start with the candles and get into the wax so, without further ado, and Mr. Motorcycle, let's get into it. All right, I finished 12 candles this month, eight Bath & Body Works, and then four from other brands. So we'll start with the other brands first. The first one I finished is from Alum, which is sold at Anthropology, and this is Espresso. Now, I really like these. This is their boulangerie line, so more of like their pantry line. I really enjoy these candles, but the burn on this one particularly was really sooty and very low burn, which I don't really get from them. Typically these small candles, and they retail for $22, really perform well for me, but this espresso one just was not great. I was burning this mainly in my kitchen, like on my stove, and I would melt like uh, coffee fragrances. I have two warmers in the kitchen, and then I always burn a candle with it, and I typically have this candle there when I was burning coffee candles and I really couldn't notice like this candle on its own. I did burn it on its own once to see, didn't really get much from it. So I figured I'll just burn it for ambiance to add a little bit of coffee, but I am going to save the jar because I love this jar, you guys. I love the texture and I love the crackliness. I really like the finish. So I will be saving that jar. Another one is from Preston Conrad. He is an influencer on Instagram. He's an HGTV guy, really awesome, and his high-end line of candles are really nice. Ellsworth in particular, it smells like Santal 26 from Le Labo. Really enjoy it. A very light sandalwood, earthy, fresh scent. And I was burning this in my bathroom. I already have one of his candles empty to like reuse. So I don't think I'm gonna reuse this one. I might just recycle it, but either way, enjoy these candles. It's not my favorite luxury candles, but they're okay. 
Next, I finished a Woodwick candle in smoked walnut and maple, and I got this at Home Goods for $14.99. Um, I enjoyed this. I didn't really burn it for scent. I only burned it for ambiance, and I have one more of the tall, they call these the hourglass candles, to burn through. The scent was okay. It was just like a mapley, warm scent. I would not say it was anything specific or anything to write home about, but I enjoy the crackliness of the Woodwick for ambiance, and I don't love the brand. I don't think the performance is great. I don't think the throw is great, but for the ambiance, I just had to burn for like hours and hours and hours at a time. There's a little bit of soot you can see, but for the most part, it burned all the way down and I was able to finish it up. Now, I would say there's two highlights out of candles this week or this month. This, 100%, is Kringle White Chocolate Chai. Now, again, you guys, the burn on these candles, everybody talks about them. I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador. Use the code I will leave down below so you can save, I believe it's 15, it's 10 or 15%. I'll leave my link down below. I love Kringle Candle. I'm not BSing you. I love them. I mean, look at the burn on these. It literally burned down. Look at that. There's literally nothing left. Now, you're not supposed to burn the candles this long, but I did because I just loved this scent. White chocolate chai, you guys. Phenomenal. Blow you out of the house strong. I had this in my kitchen. It was so good, too. It was creamy. It was spiced from the chai. Like, if you didn't know this was a chai candle and you walked into your like your kitchen or wherever you were bringing this you could tell that somebody was like did you just make a chai tea because it legit smelled like chai with a little bit of chocolate but it wasn't overpowering the white chocolate just made it smell like a very creamy creamy chai i hope they come back with this next year in the three wick soy i have been burning three wick soy i actually think i recycled it because these are all bath and body works i definitely recycled a lot of candles that i just used without thinking and i think it was one of them performance outstanding outrageous like really really good you guys really love it but anyway this fragrance 10 out of 10 white chocolate chai will repurchase. Moving into Bath and Body Works candles. You guys, there's not one candle here. Oh my gosh. I knew I had it. Pause. I finished seven Bath and Body Works candles. This is a Kringle Soy 3 Wick. It just, it literally looks exactly the same and I totally didn't know. You guys, okay. Ignore that the one wick like shifted. It's because I literally burned this until there was nothing left. So strong. I had this going in my living room. And typically, if it's a Bath and Body Works or another brand candle, I have to have two of the same or two complementing candles in the living room to get any sort of scent or throw. This one candle in my living room filled the entire space. No joke, no like no wax going, no windows open, nothing. It was so strong and this one is in cranberry and i also love that they took a nod to bath and body works and added scent notes to the bottom of the candles so this is cranberry sparkling cranberry frosted juniper juniper berry juicy orange bright raspberry sugared pine and sweet vanilla bean this puts any bath and body works candle to shame the performance on this steady flame from the top all the way to the bottom. No residue, strong too. And that's the thing with Bath & Body Works candles. About the halfway mark, the flames get really small and then they basically become scentless. So with these guys, burn all the way down, super clean, no problem, no soot. I trim the wicks, I definitely do. They get like a carbon deposit and I snip them like I do every other candle and it performs. The scent, Really nice, like a very cranberry pine type of scent. It's not my absolute favorite scent from them. There's a few, especially from the fall line, that I'm excited, hopefully, when they do transition fully. I mean, they're already, all the new ones are, but once the next round of, like, spring candles comes, I'm definitely going to get all of the three-wick candles because these blew me out of the house. These are okay in strength. Like, some of them, this white chocolate chai was strong just based on the fragrance itself. But these three wicks, phenomenal. And can we talk about the label? Like, it's a 100% wraparound label. You have the cranberry. It looks like, like a holly berry almost. Beautiful. And then we have the K in the front for Kringle, which lights up as it burns. 
a hammered uh, metal lid. Beautiful, love the performance. I'm just gonna run through these Bath & Body Works because literally, okay. The only candle that performed strong for me out of all of these, Peppermint Sugar Cookie. It burned a lot better than it did last year. That's for sure, last year's was abysmal. And the scent, I had it in my kitchen, could smell it the entire time, but about here is when it did start to get really low flames, and then I just let it burn itself out. Crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. I love this. It does. It smells just like a rich sugar cookie with a little bit of crushed peppermint on top. Love that. The rest of these, none of them were strong. So this one, I was so disappointed with. My friend, uh, she bought one of these and she was like, did you burn this? I said, not yet. She goes, let me know what you think. I burned this in my bedroom, you guys. I could barely smell it. Cinnamon spiced vanilla and hot cocoa and cream. It is just not strong. Decadent milk chocolate, ground cinnamon, and a vanilla bean. Meanwhile, I had hot cocoa and cream going in the kitchen a couple days after this one finished. And this was like so strong. So it's amazing how hot cocoa and cream performs well on its own, but mixed with the cinnamon spice vanilla for these blender candles, nothing. And it does make the theory of, do they just not add as much scent to candle day candles? Nobody knows. And it did perform okay. It did get low flames towards the end and I just let it extinguish itself. So disappointed in that one. I love the scent of Under the Christmas Tree, love, but I could not smell it. Fir Balsam Juniper Berry Vanilla Eggnog. That was weird. And Sage Leaves. It's a nice scent. It's like a very creamy vanilla balsamy type of scent without being vanilla balsam. But again, I could barely smell it. It did burn okay, but not not a repurchase. It feels really good to get a lot of these candles out of here. Next, we have Frosted Spearmint, and I did love these luminary packagings. This is frozen apple, snow-capped mint, creamy sandalwood, and iced musk. Again, this was good. I like the scent. It does remind me of like a spearmint gum with a little bit of iciness, but could not smell it. Tis the season. I burned this like the day before and through Christmas because I do love the scent, but it was not strong. Rich red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedarwood. I have a wallflower going in my entryway of this in like the high intensity, and it's so strong. Like the wallflowers, 100%. The candles, they're just not hitting it for me. I love this. It is like a cedarwoody, apple, delicious, cinnamony candle. Just not a good performer. And last for the candles is Mary Madeline Cookie. There we go. Mary Madeline Cookie right here from last year. Baked Madeline Cookie, spiced almond, sweet orange, and toasted coconut. I enjoy the scent, but again, it didn't perform. It was very light. It's like a light orange almond cookie. Really enjoy the scent, but again, very poor performance. So overall, no surprise, the highlights of candles this month were my Kringles. They seem to always be the Cranberry single Three Wick Soy and the White Chocolate Chai Two Wick Soy. Really, really stunning performers. Will repurchase both of these in the future, and I cannot wait to see what Kringle does with their Three Wick Soys this next season. All right. Let's get into the wax. Starting off with vendor wax, and then we'll move on to the Scentsy. I have a scoopable in espresso cinnamon sugar. Today is October 3rd from L3. And if you're not familiar, uh, today's October 3rd is Palo Santo, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Toasted Mallow. I got this in July of 2021. I add my little sticker to the bottom since she doesn't put pour dates on her wax. Finish this scoop. It was so light. And I wasn't sure if it's because it was so old, but I have heard mixed things about that her scoops do last longer. And I do have quite a few. I did de-stash a lot and just gave some to friends and family because I just don't love scoops. They're way too messy for me. And I just, I just did not get performance from this. The scent was nice. It was like a cinnamon sugary toast type scent. Obviously, there's no bread note, but... Yeah, it just did not perform well for me. I was hoping it would perform better, but alas, it did not. All right, 
VCS. Now, if you're unfamiliar, Vintage Chic Sense is retiring, or retiring, she's just not continuing. Candles from the Keeping Room is technically retiring, but I will say, I don't know if it's because this is really old, I did not have good luck, you guys. I did not have really good luck with a lot of my Vintage Chic. I was changing out my wax a couple times a day. Um, a lot of this is really old. I guess I should have separated because I <laughs> I have a lot of fantasy wax and I have a lot of vintage cheek, but I'll just continue talking to you as I separate them. But yeah, I did not have good luck, you guys, which really made me sad. I love Kirby. I love vintage chic, but a lot of them, it was just really, 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 really light. And like I said, it might be, a lot of these are really, really old, like no joke going on like three years, but some of them, it just, some of them were great and I will talk about them, but a lot of them, I just did not get the performance that I was hoping I would, especially from Vintage Sheet, because I typically have really good luck. Oh my lord, I am losing the bags. I am going to go and separate these and I'll be right back. All right, I have my stack from VCS, so we're just gonna run through this. The first one is Finally It's Christmas, yellow cake and rich vanilla cupcakes topped with peanut butter frosting. I did this one in my office here. It was a poinsettia, cut it in fours, did it in four warmers. It was okay. It was a very light peanut butter cupcake, but emphasis on the light. It was very light. Next, we have Christmas Morning, which is Cinnamon Sugar Monkey Bread. Most of these were poinsettias. Uh, this was October 21, so like a little over a year. Also really light for a cinnamon sugar blend, but it definitely smelled like a monkey bread, like truly like pull apart cinnamon sugar bread. It was just really light. Cindy Lou Who, which is Cranberry Ginger Ale. I love this. I love Kirby's Ginger Ale scents. This one was very strong. I did really like it, but it only lasted like four or five hours. But I do enjoy her cranberry scents. I did that one in my bedroom. And then I had two poinsettias. I think they were poinsettias or roses in the Santa Claus. And the Santa Claus is Frosted Cranberry Shaving Cream and Peppermints. If you know me, I love my shaving cream scents. This was great. This threw most of the day. I did change out the wax towards the end of the night because I couldn't smell it anymore. But I do love her shaving cream and then mixed with cranberry. Next, we have Cookie and Cocoa Dispenser. You guys, this was out of this world incredible. Rich sugar cookies and hot cocoa. Kirby's sugar cookie is amazing. I did order from her last RTS of last year. I did not order anything from this year. It was her Sally Stitched Up Sugar Cookies, which is her signature sugar cookie set in a loaf because this was so incredible. I liked it with the hot cocoa, but the sugar cookie just hit home and it was really strong. It lasted all day and I did it in my bedroom because I just wanted to be surrounded by it all the time. Next was I Smell Snow. This also was really long lasting and strong. This was in a film bar. This is fresh falling snow with a hint of sweet laundry. It really did just smell like a clean laundry blend. I didn't really smell anything else. I think it was just, I don't know what the fresh fallen snow aspect of it would be. Next I did Are You Serious Clark? And this one is Cranberry Orange Clove. This was a typical like cranberry orange scent. Wasn't super strong, didn't last a long time. This one is Clark's Christmas Vacation, Citrus, Cranberry, Oranges, Clove, and Spiced Apple. Smells just like Christmas. I did this one in my office. It was okay. Again, it does. It smells just like Christmas, like a really just uh, citrusy, cranberry, clove type of scent. Next, we have, here's the list, check it twice. These were a four pack of her coins. Zucchini bread, sugar cookies, chestnuts and brown sugar, gooey batter and fresh rolled dough. This was really yummy. I prefer Martha and Snoop for like a creamy butter fudgy zucchini bread. Even though I love chestnuts and brown sugar, this was good. I like Martha and Snoop better. Merry Christmas baby, eggnog, zucchini bread and yellow cake. I could not smell this. Snowden, Sugared Spruce, Marshmallow Fireside, and Vanilla Lace. I actually really liked this. I did this in my bedroom. It was a very, like, perfumey, comforting, and calming scent. Really liked that one. 
Oh Christmas Tree, Vanilla Bean, Vanilla Lace, and Sugared Spruce. This was nice. It was also going in this room, the office, while I had it in my bedroom. The other one, since the Vanilla Lace was very similar, it was nice. This one, Clara's Nutcracker Sweet, Yellow K covered in cotton candy frosting and gooey marshmallows. I did not like this. I'm not sure why I actually got this in October of last year. Definitely doesn't seem like my scent. I don't love cotton candy scents. It's just really sweet. Next, It's a Wonderful Life. Warm spices with hints of clove, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Nothing to write home about. It was okay. It was just like a cinnamony. I don't love Christmas scents, you guys. So, like, I just was really over Christmas at this point. Central Park Snow Globe. This is one of her classics, a cult following Peppermint Cream Noel. I did this in my bedroom. I really enjoyed it. I like that creamy peppermint. Every once in a while, though. After Christmas, over. Cranberry, cr cranberry Jackie O, which is Sweet Cranberry Marshmallow Birthday Cake Vanilla Bean Noel. I really like this. It was like a creamy vanilla cranberry. Christmas time is here. Sugar cookies, Christmas trees, and a hint of peppermint. This was also really nice. It was just like a sugary sweet Christmas tree. I finished a Blossom Bar. I have another one of this. This is McBoo, and I love McBoo. This highlight of everything I melted. Gooey Marshmallow, Campfire Marshmallow, Palo Santo, and Vanilla Frosted Grams. This, you guys. I will say I'm on a very low buy, but with Kirby closing at the end of the year, if McBoo or McBoo's Sugar Cookies is offered in a Blossom Bar or a loaf, I'm going to pick it up. McBoo is so good. It's magical. It is like the best Palo Santo gooey marshmallow blend ever. And it's good all the time. In the winter, it's good because it's cozy. In the summer, it's great because it's like smoky, woody with marshmallow, like you're roasting a marshmallow. In the spring, you're craving those summer scents. And then in the fall, you're ready for warm again. Like I said, this is good all the time. Love this scent. So that was it for VCS. We will move on to Fantasy Wax. I did the entire Fantasy Wax Christmas collection, you guys. Throughout my house, a lot of the things were in smaller shapes, so I couldn't do it in, like, my living room, dining room, kitchen area. So, mostly they were in my office or in my bedroom. But I finished it all. So, let's get started. The first one is the clam in Once Upon a Christmas, which is Frosted Graham's. Frosted graham crackers and salted caramel. This was okay. I don't love it. It was like a salty, sweet graham crackery scent. It was okay. Gingerbread men. <gasps> Snickerdoodle, gingerbread, and sugar cookie royale. This, okay. I am on the Andrea bandwagon of sugar cookie royale. It was like that scent that you just wanted to lick the air. I did the gingerbread, I cut it in half, and I did it in my two warmers in the kitchen. I like cornered the living room to walk into my kitchen. I was like, what am I melting? This. I have not melted the infamous zucchini bread sugar cookie royale from the fantasy wax yet, but it's the same sugar cookie royale. And instead of gingerbread and snickerdoodle, it's zucchini bread. Amazing. This lasted all day. Love it. And the sugar cookie royale blew my socks off. It was just something that I never realized I loved that much. Loved. Amazing. This one, Snow Globe, Caramel Maple Swirl, Warm Apples and Peaches. Didn't really care for this on cold and didn't really care for it on warm either. I just didn't really, I, nothing really stood out to me. This just smelled like a spiced cake scent to me. So I wanted a little bit more fruity. Judy's Perfect Recipe, Gingerbread Cafe Latte. I believe there's two of those in here. There should be, there should be, there should be. It might be buried down here. Judy's Perfect Recipe, yep. I finished two. I had two gingerbread in here. I did those in my kitchen two different days. Again, half of a gingerbread. You can still see his little shadow there, you see? Um, it's like his little gingerbread shadow. Super cute. But yes, I did do these. Same type of vibe. I went across the corner and I smelled that coffee. So really nice, really nice coffee scent. Next, I did Minnie's Wonderful Christmas Time. I did that in here. I also have two of those. And these were the mini chunk bags. And this is pink sugar peppermint, just like your typical pink sugar blended with peppermint. Really enjoyed that one. 
Next is Believing is Seeing, which is Vanilla Bean Noel, Zucchini Bread, and Pie Crust, also in a mini chunk bag. To me, this was just like a generic, like, creamy zucchini bread. It was okay. I like her other zucchini bread blends better. Totally Tinsel Tomorrowland, Cocoa Butter Cashmere and Spiced Winter Tea. Didn't really love this one. Um, I didn't just, it was also like, I couldn't detect it. I also feel and I'm in the minority, like with Scentsy, winterberry apple tea. I just don't understand the hype. I've melted it. I just can't. I'm like, what is everybody obsessed with this scent for? I just don't really smell anything. It just smells like a scent, which typically my nose can detect things. It just doesn't with that. So same with this. It's like that tea. I just can't detect it. I don't know. A Rose Such a Clatter, Cranberry Apple Marmalade, and Artisan Bread. I really liked this. I liked the element of bread with the cranberry marmalade. It was like that sweet with a little bit of salty from the bread. Really enjoyed that one. Comet the Reindeer. I have two more shape bags of this. I loved. This is Brown Sugar Pound Cake and Pretzel. You know how I feel about pretzel. It's incredible. Sweet, salty. I actually did a scent shot from her in pretzel too. I do have a couple things from her old formula, which I'll talk about. Her old soy, just in scent shots, which I will say, you guys, is not performing the best for me. Her new formula, though, incredible. The old soy is, you could tell it's soy. It's hard to get out of the warmers with the freezer method, and it's just not very strong. For one, the brown sugar pound cake with pretzel, amazing pretzel on its own. I did this in my kitchen, cut it in half, did half in one warmer, half in the other. Obsessed. I love her pretzel. I have so many more scent shots of this. It was awesome. Next, we have North Pole, which was peppermint bark. Really enjoyed this. This was like a chocolate peppermint. Really yummy. Hot chocolate stroll, hot cocoa, peppermint mallow. I did this and was burning the hot cocoa and cream candle in my living room. It was such a vibe. Snow on Main Street, Cupcakes at Tiffany's, Vanilla B. Noel, and Old Town Bake Shop. I did this in my bedroom, and I was, like, cleaning the sheets and stuff and, like, transitioning. And it was good. It was good. It was just, like, a very creamy, sweet bakery. Nothing to, like, detect. This one, Holiday Treats, Apple Strudel zucchini bread and glazed donuts i andrea was watching my video and she's like you're wrong on this one you're wrong i was like what she goes this is so much better than the mayor see i still like the mayor better even on warm i like the mayor better the mayor is just apple strudel zucchini bread i believe i love that i will be melting another one of those this week because i just love it so much Next is Dancing Reindeer Amaretto Nog. This was okay. I don't love Amaretto and Wax. I know a lot of the planner girls do. Just not something that I can get super wrapped around. I just, there's other scents I like better. E.L.F.S. Elf's in Honey Spiced Pear. This was one of her little mini souffles. I cut it in fours, did it in here, really liked it. I love like a spiced pear. And then the other souffle, is in Toy Soldiers, which is cranberry zucchini bread. Love. This was great. I love zucchini bread and cranberry mixed with it in the winter is great. In the winter, just in general. Next, this one is Bernard the Head Elf. This is the last one. And this is Pecan Twist and Fresh Coffee. This was one of the ones I did in my kitchen when I was burning that espresso candle. It was just like a light coffee. I didn't really detect any like pecan. It was good though. Oh, and then last from Fantasy, this is her older formula in Sticky Bun, which is cinnamon, sugar, and buttery icing. This was good. It was okay. Wasn't super, super um, strong. It is strong here, but it's like the soy. Just didn't get the best luck with her 100% soy wax. Next, let's dive into Teddy Bees. I did a fair amount of Teddy Bees. My thing that I'm doing right now with Teddy Bees is I'm using up the tubs that were not like in the actual container that were just in plastic bag or polypropylene bags and my souffles. Because going forward with Teddy Bees, I'm only going to get the tubs that are in the containers. They're easier to store for me. Bags just take up a lot of space and it just, I don't know, not that I'm ordering. I only, uh, I don't know, depending on her list, probably will participate in this Teddy Bees pre-order just because there's so few and far between, but holding my ground and hoping that I don't order. That's what I'm hoping. Anyway, I have some Teddy Bees. First, I'm actually doing this one in here right now. I love this, but... I'll talk about this first, second, because 
I actually had to change out the wax in here today because I put this in, I went to the gym, I came home and I was like, whatever that is, it needs to go. And I never say that about wax. I typically just let it go. Blueberry lemon cheesecake. No. <laughs> Creamy cheesecake, blueberries, vanilla buttercream, lemon zest, and sugar cookies. On cold. Okay, this does not smell anything like it does on warm. It's a very lemon zesty cheesecake. You definitely get like that creamy cheesecake, but it doesn't smell sour like typical cheesecakes. In the warmer, it smelled like burning graham cracker and plastic. I, again, love Teddy Bees. One of my favorite vendors. I could not do it. I was like... Oh my god, I literally put it in, went to the gym, was at the gym for like an hour and a half, came home, nope, in the office, gone, gonzo, would not buy that again. Um, and this had a poor day of February 27th, so about 10 months cure time. She was strong, just wasn't something I liked. So I replaced her with The Long Farewell, which... Palo Santo Twilight Woods Pink Sugar with a Hint of Lavender and Vanilla. I love this. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's like perfumey, but a little woodsy from the Twilight Woods. Comforting and soothing with a lavender vanilla. Really enjoy this one. And for Teddy B's souffles, I cut them in fours. Sometimes five, just depending. But for the most part, I cut them in fours. I find that that performs the best for me. Next, another souffle, strawberry frosted sugar cookies. Really liked this. Sweet strawberries, sugar cookies, and buttercream frosting. Just a great strawberry bakery. Creamy strawberry, sugary cookie. I burned a strawberry pound cake candle when I had this melting. Strawberry deliciousness. I love strawberry scents, so it didn't surprise me. I know it wasn't perfect for the season, but really love it. Michael. Michael is... Vanilla birch, mahogany vanilla, and smooth marshmallow cream. I really liked this. This was a tub, and the tub, I cut it into, I don't know, enough pieces to fill up my kitchen, dining room, and living room. I was like, what other one? So I literally do a whole tub and do it in the entire space. It threw all day. It was nice. It was not knock you out of your socks strong. However, I did some errands that day. It was coming in and out of the house. It just smelled good. It smelled masculine from like the mahogany vanilla, the Palo Santo, or no Palo Santo, the marshmallow cream was like a smoky marshmallow musk. It was beautiful, really like it. Wasn't super strong. I do have another tub of this. I'm excited to melt. This was poured July 8th, but I just really liked it. It was just a very nice background scent. This one, I was so disappointed. Milk of the Poppy. I was really excited for this one. Palo Santo and the richest creamy vanilla. And even on cold, I didn't love it. There's just so many other Palo Santo scents I like more. I just did not get a throw from this at all. I tried it in my bedroom, I tried it here, and I tried it in my living room. Nothing, it just did not throw. So very disappointed in that one. We'll stick with disappointing ones. Christmas trees and cream and apple cider donuts. Now, I do have a whole loaf of this. I didn't get anything from this, you guys. And on cold, I love this. This is fresh pine boughs, vanilla sugar waffle cone, and rich vanilla buttercream, which is Christmas trees and cream, layered with orchard apples, a hint of cinnamon, caramel, and rich cake donut. The apple cider donut in here is beautiful. It's like a crisp Macintosh apple, like crisp, fresh apple made into a donut with that Christmas trees and cream. But when I melted this, I didn't get anything from it. So this was poured in July. By next Christmas, it'll be like really, really cured. We'll see. I don't know. I did not get throw from that one. And then I heart vanilla spiced apples. This I talked about whenever I did my pre-order and plan because yes, I do melt my wax. And I know a lot of people did not love this scent from the pre-order. I'm sorry. I love apple and I love her I heart vanilla. This is an amazing blend. Melted. It was great. I had one little cube left because I wanted to show you on camera, but I did melt it. It's great. This was poured October 16th. I did the one cube 
one little piece in my bedroom, shut the door, and was filled with the beautiful I Heart Vanilla Spiced Apples blend. Um, I am worried because a lot of people didn't love it, that it's not going to come back. So I did get those three loaves in the pre or in the RTS, and then I did get two previously, so I have five loaves of it, and my heart is very happy with it. All right. Moving on to samples, I did a sample from Sassy Girl Aroma in Waffles and Berries. I was just feeling like Berry Waffle Cone one night, and this was great. It smells just like Berry Waffle Cone, that rich waffle cone goodness filled with berry ice cream. I did Strawberry Pound Cake VHS tapes from L3. I did this in one tea light in my bathroom. Didn't get much from it. L3 samples are so small. And then I did Sauvage for Men from K's. Didn't like that at all. I don't like like that super masculine cologne, like a straight up cologne. Um, this is from the Melted Mousse Out to Dry new version. So if you know, I loved Melted Mousse's Out to Dry. The scent was incredible. And whenever I was like talking with her on the Facebook group, it was discontinued by the manufacturer, the oil. And she's been trying to reformulate, hasn't come close. This was December 9th of 2021. And she sent this to me. She goes, try this and see. It's just not the same. That other scent smelled legitimately like on a summer day, you walked outside of your house and the laundry chute, like the, the vent was pushing out like the dust and the lint and just the scent of that laundry detergent. It was incredible. I still have it. I don't want to melt it because I love it so much. But this did not come close. It it was good, just didn't come close. And I was like, why am I holding on to this? Just melt it. And maybe on warm, it would change. It didn't. All right. Now some randoms. One from a vendor I will never purchase from again. Tea Time Tarts. It's the formula. This was like sticky. Like, so it was one of her um, round, like pie slice shapes. It was so sticky. And like when you broke it, it just, like I said, just bent. It didn't actually snap. It was very odd and it was so hard to get out of the warmers. And this is Palo Santo Bath and Body Works type. It wasn't really strong either. So would not repurchase uh, from them, which is fine. I did two from Super Tarts. One is in Lorelei. This is like a coffee donut-y scent. Really like it. I love her. I love Lorelei specifically from coffee from her. Really good. And then I did Jelly Jam and Dinner Rolls, which was okay. It was like a jammy, yeasty scent, like an orange jam. It was okay. Also would not repurchase. And then I did some from Empire Alchemy. I forgot I actually had these, you guys. Um, I did Kitchen Sink Cookies, which is gooey caramel, hint of chocolate, vanilla cookies, pretzels, and sea salt. I got these in the end of June in 2022. It was okay. It was just like a typical bakery scent with a little bit of saltiness. But this, Lost Missives. Oh my gosh. Red Merlot, bourbon, caramel popcorn, cedarwood, and vanilla. Empire Alchemy has some really strange blends, you guys, but this one, hits home. This was so good. So good. And you get the Merlot wine. It does give me like wine cellar vibes from Bath & Body Works if you like that scent. However, with the popcorn and like the cedar wood, it was very interesting. Very interesting. It was like a warm baked sweetness with Merlot wine, but I loved it and I wanted more. So, if I ever see her pour this, I will get like three bags like this of it and just hang on to it because I really did enjoy it. But only if she pours that, nothing else. Um, the other two were nothing to write home about. They were October Twilight and Good King Winsalas, which they were in her waffles. I just don't think there was enough wax. I cut each waffle in half, did it in my living room. Cinnamon sugar, buttercream cupcakes, Palo Santo, wood shavings, and bonfire. I liked it on cold, but it didn't really perform well for me. And then October Twilight, roasted pine cones, pumpkin cake, buttercream frosting, and toasted pine needle. I liked it. Let it through. I just didn't like the scent. It was strong, and it was more like cin like red hot cinnamon, where I was expecting it to be more of like a bakery cinnamon. So, didn't really love that one. All right, I have just five Scentsy clams. So, trying to work through the Scentsy.
For the new releases, I did Black, Current, and Plum. Now, I test all of my Scentsy typically in my bedroom. I think it performs the best in there, like when I'm testing just one clam. I didn't love it. It was okay. It was like Black Current to me is an odd oil. It was a little too tart mixed with the plum, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I didn't love it. It's okay. You don't love them all. Speaking of not loving at all, Cran Apple Crumble. You guys, you guys, no. It has that same note on warm that it did on cold. I let it go in my bedroom just to see, and it was two days. After the end of the night on the second day, I'm like, I'm not, no, I'm not warming this for a third day. I can't do it. I just, there's brown sugar in here, and typically brown sugar and wax I love. There's also brown sugar in that Cookies for Santa from the uh, Christmas, the Sense of the Season collection a couple years ago that I just also did not like. It's so funky to me. It's so funky. I don't know. It's just like funk. I, I, it's the only way I can describe it. I, I do not like it. Would never buy this again. Now, two of some of my favorites. Happy birthday from the Bring Back My Bar. This scent is just incredible. I was realizing I had way too much Scentsy and way too much wax last year and I canceled my club. Listen, I'm as heartbroken as you would be if you did that too. I have like eight bars left of Happy Birthday. I'm sure it'll come back and bring back my bar soon. This is amazing. This is like Funfetti cake, like marble cake with delicious frosting and sprinkles and it's always so strong. And then my super heartbreak that is out of my club. Sweet plum pastry. But it's my own fault. So I don't have anyone else to blame but myself. But sweet plum pastry. So good. Look how yellow the, the clam got. It's the best. It's not super bakery. It's just like a sweet, drizzled, delicious plum. Obsessed. 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 I love sweet plum pastry. And then last but not least, I actually have going in my bedroom right now. And that is Huckleberry Hideaway. I don't love this either. It's the violet note in here that's throwing me off, and it's a very prominent on warm, let me tell you. It's just a little too floral to be a huckleberry. I do want to try huckleberry sage. I know it was in the last Bring Back My Bar, and I did not get it. Wasn't it in Bring Back My Bar? It was in something. Anyway, yeah, I just don't love this. The violet's odd, but, and I don't know if I feel like, if you guys feel this way too, but in the Bring Back My Bar, I am going to start melting the new Bring Back My Bars. And I actually just placed an order for two and threes of the ones I really, really like. Uh, and then added some to my club. But do you feel like it's good when you don't like a scent, right? Because, like, I know that as I drop it. Nah, of course, that's what I like. Okay. Anyway. Huckleberry Hideaway. I know that like when this season is over and if it's not in the new catalog that's being discontinued, I'm not going to be like, I need to add it to my club. Like it's good when you find scents that you don't love because then you don't feel as bad like missing out on them. And you're like, I can make room. Like when I say, I don't like Huckleberry Hideaway, in my mind, it's like, good. That means there's room in my club for something else. That's the logistics, right? That's how anyone can justify anything, right? Anyway, that was my empties for most of the month of December. I definitely didn't save it all. I hope you guys had an incredible month. Was there anything that you melted that really stood out to you? I definitely had a few favorites, but let me know how you're enjoying your month. Sensi Bring Back My Bar is in this month of January. I cannot wait to get that haul in. There's lots of goodies in there for me, including the Valentine's Day collection. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell in the corner, that way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. I'll talk to you guys soon. Remember, be kind. I love you all so much. Take care. Bye guys.